Alright, what's going on guys? We are back after quite a long time, and as you can see, we are in a different position. The 11th floor. And the reason why I did this is because the dungeon was unspectacular as all living hell. Like, just imagine what you have seen in the beginning at like four floors of the Land Ruins. Just copy and paste that onto seven floors more. I don't know what the hell Bandai Namco was smoking when they made this. Like, made this, <laughs> made this DLC, man. But the only reason why I'm playing this is because it's, it was free and because it pretty much gives me an uh, insight to what happened to Alicia. Because if this, if there was nothing else, like, I would not be playing this DLC, man. So just imagine, imagine this is the most copy paste dungeon I've seen in the whole game. And it made this soundtrack so long, like, 11. 12 floors. 12 freaking floors. Freaking different paths. Like, this is, this is insane. And then, using this picture, I can wait to catch up Alicia's lost time during the main story when she was, you know, shuffled away for Rose. I try to make this video scene as long as possible so they can kind of encompass it. I'm not. I'm not for that. I'm so against it. But, you know. <laughs> I say that and I'm still buying the DLCs. Anyways, for now, let's actually... Where... The, uh... Um... Let's actually wear the, uh... Evangelion. Um, our styles, just because I can. And we have, um... Seen a lot of the other... Battle theme already, so... I guess it's okay. What's going on? What's going on now? Something's wrong. Huh? Why haven't we seen it yet? What's wrong, Rose? We're all the way through, but there's no sign of the Hellion bringing the malevolence. Has it gotten into Camlon already? Rose! Calm yourself! Yeah, don't you notice anything about this malevolence? Look up! <laughs> what the hell? Suckers we've run into. Two of them. What are these? Uh, one's just running away. What? Huh, I was right. They do like a pretty face. He's aiming for the biggest dandy of them all. After her. Wow. That must have hurt. Or it's sent quite a shockwave. Get out of my way. Rose. It's a she. All right. Baphomet. It's weak against physicals. Still alive. Listen to us. Rose, why are you being like this? Why? Why would you freaking die already? Oh man, that's like I was not dying. What's going on? Rose! This isn't working! I promised I'd take you to where Saray is! 
So shut up and just protect yourself, okay? Rose! What? Rose! You son of a... Stop it! The Hellion's hella strong. What are you doing? You're gonna kill yourself! How can I die? You said I was so strong! Fool! What was that for? Listen to me! I don't have time for you! Sarissa is not dead, Alicia. really. He's still alive. Ow, ow. There is time. Huh? Look carefully. Oh! These two are sharing each other's strength. Ow! You settled down now? So if they defeat both at the same time, This battle probably. will just go on endlessly unless we can defeat both of them at once! I see. And since our resident psycho killer beat the hell out of one of them, we bought ourselves a bit of time. We'll give you three minutes, okay? Find your dumb answer already and then start acting on it. You can tell that Rose was only acting like that out of concern for Alicia. Even so, she's usually good about not flipping out like that. Imbecile indeed. It's a side of her that only her truest friends know. Ah, the joys of being young. Being dumb more like. Come on, Alicia. It's okay now. You still crying? So you kind of picked up on what happened to Saray, huh? Yes. Well, you should know one thing. He's not dead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's still there. Just sleeping. Ever since the big showdown with Heldolf, he's been busy purifying the deeply corrupted Mautelis. He knew it meant he would be abandoned in time, but he also knew it was necessary. Abandoned in time? Purification on that scale could take centuries. That thing with Sore and the uh, kind of like sleeping thing kind of reminds me of the story of another great jar. Until the day comes when someone new appears. Mm -hmm. Someone who has both the resonance mm -hmm. and the will to truly purify this land. Sore will sleep a dreamless sleep with all his senses cut off from the world. Because doing so allows him to transfer his power to the squires. Yep. So even now, he's still working as hard as he can to build a future where humans and Seraphim live in peace. Saray can't laugh with his friends or climb around ruins anymore, but he's still there. Then, the dream he spoke of... It'll live on, so long as he doesn't forget. <gasps> that was Saray's answer. Saray's answer... And you were okay with that? I'm just here to do the best within my power. And so, you became a shepherd. I kinda got a policy against giving up. Alright, I think we made some progress. Now, back to our regularly scheduled beatdowns. Let's go. You wanna see Saray, don't ya? Wait. There's still something I need to say. Hmm? Thank you. I found oh, it. Oh no. I know my true answer. Uh, that there goes my uh Yeah, I know. I thought I knew what she was going huh? to say. I knew that. Too bad. What? Come on, let's go share it with Saray. Alright, so for the same time. Alright, wow, amazing focus. Wow. Hey Rose! Hey Rose! Hey Rose! Hey Rose! 
start, of course. What? You heard me. Lord of Fire! If you know what you say, you will not touch the mouse now. It's time for that. Oh, be careful not to get caught between them. Got it. We should probably try to keep them both in one spot. Familiar with the burning? You don't really know it, do you? Do you ever let anything drop? Fine, I don't know it. Wow, <laughs> we're doing great damage. Watch out! It's one of your dangerous moves. Yeah, I'll be careful. For million points. Ready? You know, it wasn't just me. Lila and Edna knew too. What? Did you really like me? Really not. I have no idea. See, they just didn't hear the first part. That's all. Get her up, please. I have to enough elixirs. Oh, yeah, sorry. Good call, Mimi. I know, right? <laughs> you are. Oh, my God, come on, man. She's already mastered the need of banter. She is a monster. Let's focus on the battle, okay? Up again, please. I need an extra on me, so I actually have enough um, BP for uh, for the Mystic Art. There we go. I think that was enough. Come on, come on, come on! There we go. Whew, that was close. I think they would actually have healed each other. Is... is it over? No, one last hit should do it! Uh, okay. Wow. Alicia! No! Twin four! No! Miklio! Oh sure, hog the spotlight, show off. Go! Are you ready, Rose? Are you ready? Ha! X slash. We did it. Oh, it was quite a battle. I mean, Alicia died twice, but. Did you see my art spamming? <laughs> the ultimate Seriously, art spamming. Seriously, you guys. Move. What would you have done if I hadn't made it in time? Thank you so much, Miklio. Long time no see, Alicia. That's a lot of experience. Uh, I, th I, I mean, for a gold trophy. We probably reached the end already. So that's what happened. Then that malevolence I sensed must have been the same thing. On the way here, I sensed some kind of presence moving quickly away from the ruins. So it just up and left? 
How odd. But we were able to protect this place. That's all that matters. It doesn't bother you? Miklio's back, and that can only mean one thing. We're all good here, right? Yeah. I found a way to seal this area. Camelon will be safe from Hellions from now on. So little baby Weebo had to take all the heroic parts, huh? I'll have you know that a great man is one who rises to the occasion. You came back first. Why didn't you rise to the occasion? Because he's not a great man, clearly. Yeah. Uh, oh. You set yourself up, Zavid. <laughs> All right, Alicia. It's your turn to talk. Wow, this is what happened to Kamla? <laughs> That's Saray. Dude, the whole place exploded. <laughs> yeah, it does it did have to happen at the end of the main story. Saray, the light that you brought to us is changing the world. Changing it for the better. The peace treaty will soon put an end to this war. These centuries of conflict between our two nations will finally be no more than a sad chapter of history. And I will continue to do all in my power to see this through. You have my word. But I realize just now what my true answer should be. A politician, a woman of royalty, a knight, a regular young lady, a friend to everyone gathered here. I want to live as all of these people. At first I thought I was just being selfish. But I lacked the maturity to discard those facets of myself that were inconvenient. But since then, I've had colorful disagreements with Rose. Given my proper farewell to Lady Maltran. And had a wonderful journey with dear friends. And that very journey is the reason that I can stand before you now. With my true answer in hand. I've realized I don't need to throw away any part of myself. Saray, thank you! The journey didn't give you the answer, Alicia. It gave you the strength to believe in the answer you already had. That's not the only thing it gave me. Rose! You good? Yep, let's go. That's a good-looking umbrella. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh my boy, sorry, she's chilling at the bottom. <laughs> All right. And I guess that concludes the DLC. I'm pretty. Oh nope, there. Makes there my he is. skin crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Until they get a chance to taste it. I wonder, shall I tear them apart in front of the shepherd brat? Or should I tear him apart and watch them shriek? Soon, <laughs> when my strength is fully returned, it will be time to feast and to suffer. That face, man. <laughs> yeah, of course, we have to end it with the crazy villain laugh. You know. Alright, dude. See ya in the probably sequel, as it's been uh, kinda confirmed right now. And that was the end of. Alicia's, Alicia's Conviction, or I think it's called Extra Episode Alicia. But anyways, did I enjoy this this um, DLC? Well, first of all, 
it, it was good to have Alicia back for more than one battle, you know? Like in the main story, we played with her for a while, and then we we got Rose, and she was kind of pushed to the sidelines a little bit, and then come back to part with Lady Maltran. She kind of got her, her uh, spotlight right there, but just for like one major battle. So I'm, I was kind of happy that we could actually play with Alicia, Alicia, <laughs> Alicia in the main story, in the, in, the, in this DLC. But I just noticed that going through the dungeon, playing as Alicia is not that easy because she cannot armatize, so she doesn't really have access to all that crazy power that Rose has because she can armatize. And as you can see in that last battle, it would have been way more difficult if I didn't spam Calamity F Flame, C Calamity Flare, and um, Ancient Nova. It would have been much more difficult. I can actually already see that. But one thing that I did enjoy about this DLC, I mean, they got one new dungeon. Like that's it. Everything else was recycled, which I'm not too, cr I'm not too crazy about that because, you know, it's it's of the same game. And it's kind of nice just going around to see what happened to those places, so I can kind of, I'm okay with that. But the last dungeon, the um the ruins, that was unreasonably long dungeon, like with 12 floors. The longest dungeon was the final dungeon in the main story, and it, it looked kind of interesting with different quests, with different um, unique monsters and stuff. So you can kind of stay invested in that. But here, in, in this, in this DLC right here, the last dungeon was pretty much floor one, and then copy paste that onto onto uh, twelve more floors with a lot of chests, a lot of good items, I might add. But you know, just insanely strong enemies. Like I skipped most of that dungeon also because I was getting my ass beat. <laughs> By those um, enemies, man, like they were, like they were um, seraphic art trapping me. With, like one was casting your arts and I was still stunned, and then they just keep on doing that. One was just had like an instant attack. I think it was like an orc knight something, where he can use attack called dig, and then uh, I died instantly, pretty much. So I just skipped all that. But anyways, uh, including all that, I. Oh, what? Well, let's just earn the title, Pledged Heart. Alright, so what I wanted to say was, this DLC was okay, but guys, I think by now, the DLC is not free anymore. I think now it actually costs like 14 euros or something, and I would not recommend you guys to buy this. I got this for free because I bought this day one, like the special edition. This um, it came with like a few extra items and this DLC is for free. So that's why I actually played this. So, um, check the PSN, guys. If it's free, get it. If it's not free, then stay. Just stay as far away from it as possible and watch a online Let's Play. I mean, it's pretty much what this here is. <laughs> so I know why I said that, but... Yeah, anyways. That was that. Alicia earned the title of Pledged Heart. Alright, I will save my clear data on another file. Because I have, I like to have my files. This oh, nope, nope, nope. I like to have multi. What did it cancel? What happened? <laughs> oh, what I didn't save. Uh, anyways, that was pretty much it for Tales of Vesteria. This is officially the last part. There's nothing more coming out. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys soon enough for my next playthrough, which will be of a rather old game and not really a JRPG, but uh, until then, see you guys soon, and have a great day wherever you are. <laughs>